Five years. Five years. Five years. It's cool. Five years is cool. Some of you might not really know who we are, but we are a family oriented group of people who have put together this site, this live site that's been five years now online, 24 seven. We are CA Seismograph, you can find us. Congratulations, California Seismograph, on your five year anniversary. This is Instructor Lupe wishing you many more years to come. Congratulations. Uh, what are we, what, why, why are we here? What are we doing? What's California Seismograph? We are a, a YouTube channel 24 seven that is dedicated to teach and to bring information about local and worldly earthquakes, you know, worldwide earthquakes all over in regards of uh, bringing understanding and attention to the dangers and to be prepared. So mostly we are a uh, organization that helps people to realize that earthquakes can be, they can be very dangerous. And as we saw just lately in Turkey, where building after building has come down and many people got trapped and many people died. And so being prepared is one of our main things we talk about on our channel. One of our most important uh, features of understanding that those who are prepared have a far better chance of surviving a major quake the moment that we have to deal with one. How do you all tinkers here? Um, we're together today celebrating the fifth anniversary for California Seismograph. We've been a live quake channel now for five years. I want to thank all of our viewers. You guys are awesome. You guys make CAS what it is. I hope to see you all in the chat room tonight. Stay safe and always have a plan. Bye. Six years ago, for a long time, ABC7 would come on the news with their seismograph they had built by factory standards and they had it online 24 seven. There, there was a community there that was looking at that. I was one of those people. And as a matter of fact, uh, very much enjoyed that until they six years ago stopped altogether. We didn't know first why, as a matter of fact, I called them up and tried to find out, didn't really get an answer. But a year later or so, it was a year into it that I found out after I built my first seismograph, they called me and invited me to come over. We, uh, Dean and I went over there. We spent a couple of days, as a matter of fact, uh, showing our seismograph and doing some testing at theirs. Anyway, uh, they told me the reason why is just because they couldn't maintain it anymore. The company that maintained these old uh, nostalgic, you know, uh, seismographs that uh, was the only company in the world that still did it and they quit they said enough is enough we can't do this anymore it's too expensive and they stopped it for a year long about i wasn't really sure about how to go about this although in the back of my mind i had something like we got to bring this back <laughs> this was my passion it was my hobby it's something that i was very interested in because when i came to america from holland my very first experience my very first night was an earthquake of 5.9 back in 86, I believe it was. And that uh, earthquake that triggered me by saying, wait a minute, what, what just happened? I didn't even know. If you want to know the story exactly in detail, you can go to a uh, Raspberry Shake. On the bottom, you'll find a link. And you can click there and I will give my uh, background story. Hello, CAS family. I'm the administrative technician here at the California Seismograph. And I wanted you to know that with the help of the moderators and the managers, we work hard behind the scenes to give you the most accurate and updated information we possibly can. Looking forward to another five years with you guys. Stay safe, everyone. I got very involved in looking into how to make a early warning system. And I actually thought something up that would work really well. It was called Crossquake, but I couldn't get it supported. I couldn't get the financing behind that in order to bring it off the ground. NBC7, when I found that, looking at their site and talking to people, that's where I actually got in the idea of how do I, how do I, how do we bring this back? And my dad said, um, why don't you just build one? <laughs> I've never done that. Never built something like this. So it was definitely a challenge. But I went about it and we built our first version and didn't work second version and got some results, but not good. And the third version, as a matter of fact, by our third seismograph that we built, we actually were pretty sure that this was going to pick up earthquakes after testing. Uh, did some, we, we turned it on, let it sit there, 
put it online, as a matter of fact, and started watching it. And, and we had to wait. I mean, a week went by, nothing happened, and all we had was straight lines pretty much over that thing. And suddenly there was a blip on that on that paper. And we were so excited. We knew that was an earthquake. It just felt like or looked like it. Came to find out, indeed, not too far away from here, Huntington Beach 2.1 earthquake occurred. And that was what we call nowadays the bird on the line. And as a matter of fact, I have it up on the top here. I'll bring this down, I'll show you guys. It's hanging up right here, it's been hanging here for five years. This is the bird on the line. There we go, it's, uh, let's see if I have to bring it close to my no, no, Don't get too close, all right. So, and we call it the bird on the line because that little blip, it looks like it reminded me of telephone lines here. And you look to the sky and all you see is those lines. And then suddenly you see this little thing sitting there with its tail hanging out. Looks like bird line. It was at 2.1 Huntington Beach at March 9th. We're almost there. Our anniversary day is almost there. There we go. March 9th at uh, 9.51 in the morning. I'll hang this back in a minute here. Hello, I'm Sherry. Watching California Seismograph grow from a small channel to a large family has been my pleasure. Thank you for letting me be a part of Come celebrate our fifth year anniversary with us. And that was our start. That was the start of California Seismograph. As a matter of fact, uh, the next big quake that we caught was not too far after that. And we called that the, the Christmas tree because the half hour earlier to this earthquake occurring, I remember it was Santa Cruz Island. And I think it was a 5.1 earthquake. That quake occurred also in the daytime, as far as I remember, just a half hour earlier. The needle, for some reason, had left a little ink. We, we were always battling ink and paper of making that work 24 seven. It, it's not easy. That was a really difficult challenge. Get the right paper, get the right ink, get the right setup that it either wouldn't stop the ink or it would be too much ink being pushed out and it would drip. And we actually had a drip for a little bit on that particular paper on the drum that day. And a half an hour later when it came and it arrived at that same place pretty much, only just a little lower, the earthquake occurred. And then it occurred there where it, it started out big and it tailed off. And so you have a, a, a bar of ink and then the rest of the earthquake that starts big and tapers down small so it looked like a christmas tree <laughs> and so we call that our christmas tree burn line christmas tree there you go and i have that hanging up in here too as a matter of fact those two have only hung up here there we go as you can see check this out he called that the christmas tree because if you look at that check that out see there's a little bit of an ink drip right there it was a, a thicker line here it's not too much visible but if you're if you're in life and look at it you can clearly see it and then the earthquake a 5.1 i think it was let me see what it says here uh, oh, 5.3. Hey guys, it's Mikey. I uh, just want to thank you all for sticking with us for all these five years that California Seismograph has been going for. And I do also want to thank you guys for helping this uh, family community grow and be a part of everything that we do here at Seismograph. Thanks much, y'all. As you can tell, I'm sure that uh, you noticed we're here in May now and our anniversary was in March. So what happened? Well, life happens and that's okay. Uh, I'm just glad that we have had a fantastic journey these last five years together with y'all. And uh, stick around, we have a lot more to come. We already had a, a special guest here. We might feature a little bit on the end of this video uh, of our special guest. But if not, there is a whole video coming up with that special guest. It's fantastic. Uh, so many things to come still. Even in this video, there's a lot more that we wanted to feature that we can't stuff all in here. So there's certain things coming that we want to show you about California Seismograph and that will also in the future videos. Thank you for all your support. We especially thank those that have been financially been able to support us. It makes a great difference. But we thank all of you, those in the chat, the people that email us, people, especially those obviously that is our part that you have been seeing throughout our video video, our mods and the techies that are a great asset to California Seismograph. If you want to come on board, if you want to be part of California Seismograph, reach out to us. We have our email, very simple, caseismograph at gmail.com. My name's Connie Elliott. I'm a mod for CA Seismograph and CA Seismograph means family to me. They're helpful, special, and I'm glad they're a part of my family. Well, uh, introduce yourself and give us a little bit yeah. of a spiel about your channel. <laughs> uh, I'm Michael and I'm the creator of this uh, Earthquake channel. I, I'm basically uh, 
uh, focusing on creating 3D simulations, earthquake simulations of uh, various structures. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm so excited to, to be here and meet both of you.